I have a question. Why do Sahih Hadiths conflict with each other? The Zayan Kazi has asked this question that why do Sahih Hadiths conflict with each other? If a person knows the rules and regulation and the ilm of Hadith, then no Sahih Hadith ever contradicts. Yes, a person who has lack of knowledge of the rules and regulation of Hadith and how to understand Hadith, he may think it's a conflict. For example, let me give you an example that there's a hadith in which the Prophet has said that don't drink water while standing. It's hadith. There's another hadith in which Hazrat Ali Malabi Bidhidim said, it's a Bukhari, that Hazrat Ali Malabi Bidhidim, he saw the Prophet drink water while standing, the way I'm doing. So a layman will think, okay, here the Prophet said, don't drink while standing, and now the Prophet is standing, and what is it? So here, if you have the knowledge of hadith, it is, it is the commandment of Allah's, it is the commandment of Allah's messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that do not drink while standing. That means when you have to drink water or drink anything, you have to sit and drink. So why is the Prophet, Hazrat Ali, telling a lie? No, not at all. That means, if you saw the Prophet drinking stand, while standing, when he commanded not while standing, it means that general ruling is don't drink while standing. But if there is a necessity and if there is a requirement, you can stand and drink. So drinking and standing is not haram, it is makhroof. So if you know the ilm, the knowledge of hadith, how hadith is derived, so whenever a call of the Prophet, a commandment of the Prophet contradicts with the action of a Prophet, a commandment carries more weight. And logically, when you give a command, you are thinking very well and giving a commandment. Action means, okay, this is the normal norm, but if there is a requirement, <coughs> and if there is a need, and if, for example, if a person is, is, is standing, and if the area is complete with muck and dirt, if I have to sit, it will be unhygienic. Where will I sit? There is no place to sit. If I sit, it is raining, there is muck. So here, drinking while standing doesn't become haram because the action of the Prophet is there that he drank while standing when there was a necessity. But the commandment is, don't drink while standing. So if you know and have knowledge of the hadith, you may think it's a contradiction, but it is actually, if there is a commandment of the Prophet and there is no contrary action, that means it becomes a fard for you to follow that commandment. The Prophet said that grow your beard in Sahih Bukhari. Point number seven. Grow your beard and trim your moustaches. There is no action in which the Prophet cut his beard. So when the Prophet said grow your beard, it's a commander of the Prophet. There is no action contrary to it anywhere in the Hadith. So that becomes a fard. So growing your beard is a fard. But standing and drinking is mustahab. It is sunnah. Because there is action against it. So many a time because of a lack of knowledge, you may think that the Sahih Hadith contradicts. The Sahih Hadith don't contradict. A Sahih Hadith cannot contradict. A Sahih Hadith cannot contradict with the Quran. The true Sahih Hadith also will not contradict. It is your assumption. And if one Hadith which is Zaif, it may contradict with the Sahih Hadith. The Sahih Hadith has to be followed. The Zaif Hadith has to be neglected. But two Sahih Hadith will never contradict, will never contradict if you know the rules and regulation of how to understand hadith. Hope that answers the question.